So we've looked at how to upload files, list files, and grab the URL for objects in a bucket. But what happens if we want to protect files so they can't be publicly read without a token? Now, this is a really good idea for perhaps some kind of membership system. If, for example, you were only allowing users that had um, some kind of membership access to your website to be able to download files, what you're going to need to do is tokenize the URL so it can't be given away to anyone else. There needs to be a valid token. And we can do this really, really easily with the get object URL method that we saw when we were actually listing files. Instead of having a public file that we can just click download on and download that file, it will append a token which will expire after a certain amount of time. So what we're actually going to do then is inside of uh, our bucket here, we're going to change the permission for this uploadme.txt file. So as we can see in our permissions, this link is publicly available to anyone. Anyone with this URL can download this file. What I'm going to do over in my permissions area here is I'm just going to remove all of the permissions for this and just hit save. Now what that's going to do is when I refresh, and click on this again, it shows a lock near here. So when I click on this file, you can see that we get an access denied method uh, message. Now you can set this up so you can have access to it from here, but you know you can do that from this add more permissions button just down here. Now what we're gonna do then is from within our application, we're gonna tokenize this so we have access to it with our token. So let's do this now. We're gonna create a new file and we'll just call this token.php and again we'll set this up in the same way as we did uh, before by just requiring in our start file so we've just got a fresh file to work with so the object that we're going to be pulling down this again will maybe be stored in your database when you allowed your users to upload the files or you might just have a list of private files that are available to members on your website this is in uploads and it's called upload me.txt so we've got the name of the object what we now want to do is create the URL so we do a similar thing as we did when we were listing we use get object URL we pass in the bucket name that we want to pull this from remember that that's inside of our config in the s3 key and that bucket then we pass in the object as we want to pull it down. And this is pretty much similar to how we did it before, but we're going to add an additional um, argument to this method in just a moment. So I'll just call this token and let's create an anchor on the page here with a download label. And in here, let's just echo out the URL. So similar to what you would do inside of your application. So obviously now what's going to happen is when we head over to token.php, I'm going to hit download and I get my access denied message. So what we're now going to do is when we pass in a third argument, this is going to tokenize this URL and give it an expiry time. The token uh, will expire after a certain amount of time and not allow access to that. So the situation is a user lands on this page and let's say we want to give them one minute to download this file. So our token is going to expire after one minute. After one minute, that file will be inaccessible. So if a user copies and pastes the link that we get output here, then it's not going to be available to anyone else because the token would have changed. Now notice, once I've given this plus one minute, you can do anything else like plus two days, however you want to deal with this. Um, we can actually download this file and that's going to give us access. So taking a look at the URL, you can see how this has changed. We've got an AWS access key ID, and then we've got an expires time, and then we have a signature here. So this is what's appended onto the URL. Now, while I've been talking, 10 seconds has probably just part, uh, well, we can change this to 10 seconds to just test it, because uh, one minute's a little bit too long. So let's go back and refresh. I'm going to click on this file and as you'd expect that now allows me access to that file I can download it and uh, access it as normal as, a, as an authenticated user 
But now what's going to happen is when I refresh, once 10 seconds has passed, you can see that again we get an access denied message and we can see that the message's request has expired. So if I'd have given this link, copied, the, copied and pasted this link to someone or, or somewhere else um, and someone was trying to access it, they would no longer be able to access this file because the token has expired. So it just goes to show how easy it is to actually tokenize a URL for private access uh, given the time that you want this to expire.